Before we dive in, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay, here we go. Are you aware of the recent surge in violence in the Bahamas and Jamaica? Unsettling times have befallen these idyllic Caribbean destinations. The U.S. State Department has flagged both countries with travel advisory warnings due to a significant uptick in crime. Jamaica now teeters on the brink of the highest advisory level, sitting at level 3. This comes in response to a wave of violent crimes and what's been described as an ineffective police response. Meanwhile, the Bahamas has been grappling with a rise in gang violence, a troubling trend that's resulted in 19 lives lost in the capital city of Nassau alone. Other Caribbean nations such as the Turks and Caicos and Trinidad and Tobago are also feeling the sting of escalating violent crime. This is not a narrative confined to the shadows. It's playing out in both tourist hotspots and lesser-known locales. The situation is grave with both tourist and non-tourist areas affected. But it's not just the Bahamas and Jamaica feeling the heat. The serene isles of the Caribbean are experiencing a surge in violent crime. The tranquility of Turks and Caicos, the rhythms of Trinidad and Tobago, are now punctuated by the echoes of violence. The Prime Minister of Trinidad, in a desperate call for assistance, has highlighted the grim reality of the region's crime problem. Partnerships are being formed, strategies are being devised, but the question remains, can the tide be turned? The Caribbean, once thought of as a paradise, is now a hotspot for violent crime. So, what is being done to combat this issue? The U.S. isn't sitting idle. In fact, it's partnering with Trinidad to tackle violent crime and firearms trafficking head-on. The State Department has issued travel advisories for both the Bahamas and Jamaica, urging Americans to exercise increased caution. This includes being vigilant in both tourist and non-tourist areas due to the surge in crime. The goal? To keep Americans safe while efforts are underway to restore peace and security in the Caribbean. While the situation is dire, efforts are in place to restore safety in the region.